How's it going everybody? Welcome back. Today I'm going to share with you guys a few tips to fix packet loss, uh, lag, or FPS drop in Dota 2. Now there are a few steps that you can take, and the first one is pretty self-explanatory. Make sure that you close all other programs that may be using your internet connection. Applications like streaming services, file sharing programs, and gaming apps can all compete for bandwidth and cause lag in online games. Even if you just have to open in your Chrome browser or any other browser, make sure that you just close all of these to make sure that you don't get any bandwidth sucked out of your connection. Also check your internet connection, make sure that you have a stable and fast internet connection. You can do this by running a speed test and checking if your connection meets the minimum requirements for Dota 2. Also update your graphics card. So if you're using GeForce, for example, and make sure that it's up to date because out of date graphics drivers can cause FPS drop and other issues in games. So make sure that you have the latest drivers installed for your graphics card. Another thing you can try doing is adjusting your in-game settings. Now, I know Dota 2 doesn't exactly have the highest requirements, but make sure that your settings are the right settings for your computer. Also, try switching to a wired Ethernet connection as it can be much more stable and provide lower latency. So if you're using Wi-Fi, I would just recommend switching to the Ethernet cable. Even if your router is far away, just get a long cable and connect it to your PC. Now, if none of the previous steps help, you may want to try to repair the game files. And how you do that is you just go to your library, uh, go to properties on your game, go to local files, and just click verify integrity of game files. And if that doesn't work, then you may be having a ping issue that has to do with your own connection or the, well, package that you're getting from your ISP. So if your ISP server is constantly giving you low ping, what you can do is try to use a VPN server and is connect to the VPN server that's closest to your game server so that you can hopefully fix your connection. And this can often even give you better ping than your base ping if you're having issues with your ping in the first place on your local servers, or maybe your game is connecting you to servers that are a bit further away from you. What you can do is use a VPN and force the game to connect you to a server that is closer to you. And what I'd recommend is uh, go to your Steam settings and make sure that the download region is the same as the game and VPN. VPN region uh, to make sure that you get the best connection possible. And if you're interested in some of the best VPNs that you can use, I've got three of the best VPNs. Of course, I've tested over a couple of dozen VPNs and I've narrowed it down to these three as the best overall. They all vary in budgets and features. So pick and choose depending on your own situation, your specific needs and preferences, and what you're looking for out of your VPN. You've got Express, Nord, and Surfshark. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about these VPNs, be sure to check the reviews down below and you'll find links to pricing and discount if you want to jump straight to that. And of course, they're all covered by 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can test drive these VPNs for 30 days risk-free. Otherwise, you can simply get yourself the refund if you're not satisfied for whatever reason. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.